Hey, what's up guys? I am Legend, your favorite traveling musician right here on YouTube. And I am back with another tutorial for music making for you guys. A lot of you have been DMing me on Instagram and my YouTube channel, messaging me all over the place saying, I don't have the money to buy the equipment that you have. I can't start out making music. I'm here to tell you, you do not need thousands of dollars worth of equipment to get started in making music or writing songs. I'm gonna show you guys how I made an entire song from scratch using a tool that pretty much everybody on planet Earth in 2018 has these days right in your pocket a smartphone um, in this case it's going to be an iphone because i do not have an android device but you can find applications that will also do this on android i just can't tell you what they are because i am not team android i am an apple fanboy here is how you can create an entire song from scratch using just your iphone with garage band on your phone just to give you some kind of idea to show you what's possible to do on your phone here is a song that i was working on yesterday to kind of prove the point using just the garage band application the microphone on my uh, phone itself and just the instruments that come with garage band so here is what it sounds like So sick. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and record it from here on my phone and hopefully the audio will work out. So basically with iPhone, what you wanna do is you want to go to the top, search for GarageBand, find it right here because this is the app that we're gonna be using. There are plenty of other apps in the Android store as well as the iOS store, but I'm just gonna use one that I already have on my phone that's already on pretty much every iPhone there is. And I'm sure there is some kind of Android uh, alternative that kind of does the same thing that this does. But since I have an iPhone, this is what we're using. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can create a full song using just this application. It's very simple. Um, what you want to do is when you're creating a song, you're going to go here to create document and it'll bring you to this uh, menu right here. So you can select what you want to use, a keyboard, drums, an amp for guitar, audio recorder, strings, bass, guitar, world, drummer. Like these are different stuff that you can uh, download, a sound library. It's like got loops and, and stuff like that. So in my case, I basically just came to uh, the keyboard. I added that in. When you want to set the tempo, you come up here to this uh, top right corner. And here is where you can set the tempo of the song. Right here, I have it at 82 BPM. Okay, so basically what I did is I came up with this very basic loop for this synth, which I found in the keyboard uh, section. Epic Cloud Formation is the one that I used. So basically I, I took this uh, synth right here and I started playing this chord progression or loop right here. It came out like this. Make sure you go to settings and you quantize it so that um, it's actually on the beat. So quantize to 116. So basically what I did to add this next drum is I went to this uh, section right here. I pressed that little button and in here you can search any kind of like loops that are within the Apple loops in this application. I typed drum in and then I went down. I, did, I just found this African talking drum. dragged it over here and boom. So basically it appeared right here. So it's already matched up to the metronome and all that stuff of the beat. So you don't even have to time it or anything, which is really dope. And it's, still, it's just gonna loop itself all the way through. So basically you have this. coming together really dope already. I added another instrument right here, which is a drum kit. I think it was this one right here. 
So I basically dragged that. I turned it all the way up. I added some compression, some treble, a little bit of bass, and you have this. So I needed some extra, like a little bit of bass for the song, but I didn't want to add a, a sub bass. So I, I put in two grand pianos here, which you can easily find if you just go here, keyboard, more sounds, keyboards, and then grand piano. I basically added two of those. Just to play that by itself, what those two sound like once I added those, it sounded like this. Boom. But in addition to that, I didn't want it to be like completely live sounding. So I found these three drum machines, which you can find here and come to the sound library. I believe it was uh, flex and flow and you download that. And then once you come to drums, you add, what was it? More sounds. Yes. So I added the hybrid knock retro box and i think it was advanced machines but each one of these had their own so like this one for instance when i added it then a kick drum we put those together with the percussion and the drums we already had actually we'll do it without first and then i basically just added these three as a layer You can hear the difference. Then I went in and I found another uh, synth. We're gonna play that by itself. And then this was, I believe, the final addition to the instruments that I was gonna add. Really uh, plucky type instruments to kind of fill in the blank spaces or to give like a track some extra di dynamics. Dun, 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 dun. It sounds like this. So everything all together sounds like this. Sounds pretty good, right? So in addition to that, I wanted to add like just some vocals that I kind of had going on in my head. So it's basically like a reference track. So I wanted to add a lead vocal. So you just come here, click the add button. You go to where it says audio recorder and click voice. From here, I would basically hit the record button and record the vocals. So something like this. Uh, yeah. uh, 
I know I'm not really saying anything. It's gibberish. It's supposed to be gibberish. The words come later, but this is just to get an idea for what's going to happen with the melody and maybe like even vowels. And it sounded like this once I added like a little bit of auto tune. Compressor, trebles turned up, the echo, the reverb is turned up. And it sounds like this. Which is really dope in my opinion the the vocals sound great the the instruments alone sound super professional like if i were to import this into my garage band on here i could easily master this song and and or that at least the beat and make it sound really dope then i added like a, a verse reference track which sounds like This has been an example of how you can create pretty much an entire song. Like this song is obviously not laid out. It's not, uh, you know, put together and built out to be a, an official running song. However, just to start off, this should show you that you are able to create music in any kind of application on any equipment that you have available to you. So if it's a phone, if it's an iPad, a tablet, if it's, a, uh, it's anything, I wasn't able to really show you step by step how like I'm playing the notes and all that stuff because my screen recorder is not working on my phone. But I just wanted to be able to show you guys that it is possible to make music with the tools that you have. It's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of time and some patience to be able to do it. Um, so I hope this video helped you guys out. If you want to get started, go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, be legendary. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.